Hey everyone, welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. I'm going to start it off with a nail room tour and I hope you enjoy it. Right, here we are. That's the door where the client will come in. Um, there's the mantelpiece over the fireplace, which got the wood burner in, um, which I do use in the winter when it's cold. And it makes it nice and cosy. I've got some press-ons in there, um, little spare ones. Then we've got my lovely little rose gold brush that I got from CJP Nails. My shiny from E-Nail Couture um, top coat. Um, just a little, little incentive to sparkle a bit brighter. And a present I got from my, a friend on my birthday, which I really love that. She knows my taste. Um, the mirror. <laughs> a little set of these I got from Dunelm um, shoes, bag and over here we've got the third one of the set which is perfume all those three girly things and some boys like them wallpaper came from gallery which I absolutely love uh, another mirror I do like to have mirrors and just a standard lamp there a little chair and cushions that I mainly use for background photos. I've got my lantern down there with lights in, more lights, my little wood burner for in the winter when it's cold. And then my shelf here has caption polishes from Young Nails, which are quite fast drying. They can be used without a lamp, but they are, you do get a gel finish and they come with a special top and base. Um, that gives them that gel finish you can layer them on top of each other but they do need um so they don't need the lamp to cure and they're my stamping plates in there and my stamper more stamping plates lights around the cabinet and then here i've got my foils all sorts of different ones flowers Oh, everything, you name it. They make them in everything now, don't they? All these foils. And this was an idea. An album that I got from either eBay or Amazon. And I got this idea from somebody on um, their own nail tour. Where you just put a piece of each foil into the album. So that your client can just flick through and pick out whatever they like. Which I thought was a really good idea. And that's airbrushing. I've got my airbrush gun, airbrush paints, airbrush gun cleaner, which doesn't clean it, nothing cleans it. Um, they're my, there's decals in there, water decals in that little folder. And then I've got my printer down there, which never works when I use it. And coming over here, we've got the coat stand. Coat stand with the, um, at the moment it's got my, um, aprons on but I don't normally have them on there um, this is the table obviously where we work and the client sits here in the fancy chair and I sit in the one with the wheels that goes up and down and that's my e-file over there which is a Cooper 220 and it's quite an old one but I did pay a lot of money for it and it is really good and I have to say it's never let me down I do have a spare, an Erica spare in the cupboard. There's my arm for the camera and there's my daylight lamp, which I love. And then down here is my Ravair Clean Air filter system, which has one of the carbon filters in it. And it sucks in the bad air, cleans it up and pushes it back out again, which I love it. And it's really super quiet. You don't even know it's on. I forget sometimes. and leave it on which obviously is not good but perhaps I'm going a bit deaf and then we've got my little desk and oh, I just got this I just got the glitter bells diary and do I love the inside look it's got colour pictures when I saw that <laughs> that is so lovely you know and it's good for them as well because it's it's advertising for that look. How lovely is that? And then there's more at the back. Look at that. I love it. And on each page, 
you can put your clients, you put the date in, you put the cost of the service, and then at the bottom of the page you can total it up, you can put your costs in, and then you've got your, your balance between the two. It's brilliant. Love it. And of course it looks really lovely. Just always a bonus. Got my chair, my desk chair. Love that. I got that from a little shop in Malden called Ruby Rose. And I also got that one from Ruby Rose. And this one I got from TK Maxx. And that rug came from a shop in Alborough. And I've got some two bins, an open one and a closed one. And then we've got certificates up the top there. I have also got over here my public liability insurance. And I then have my, these are coloured acrylics, but they're also a dip system. They're young nails and that's called slick pour. And you can, oh, they are lovely and they're so multi-purpose. You can use them for so much. You use them as a dip system um, or pour it, whatever you are, it's more hygienic to get a little scoop and pour it on. So that can be used for the dip system, which is like a gel polish. It can be used, but, but it's more than a gel polish. It's almost like an overlay, really, because it's so strong. And But then you put it with monomer and it's coloured acrylic. And I love them. And some are quite highly pigmented and others maybe not so, but I find that with all powders. And then I like everything in a stacker because it means that they're all the same and it saves a lot of space. And then here we have more stackers. So in these stackers, there are um, dried flowers and snowflakes, stars, all those shapes have got some little licorice all sorts there, which is so cute. They come from Glitterati. Most of this stuff, there's leaves there for the autumn. All of this stuff mainly comes from Glitterati because they've got everything. And the Nail and Beauty Link as well, TNBL, they have loads of stuff. A few more of the Young Nail Slick Powders. Oh, there's my cards, which I just kind of made myself on Zazzle. If you go onto the Zazzle website, you can just pick a a base card and then do what you want to it which is quite a good way of doing it it's probably a bit dearer but i don't want thousands of them i only wanted a few and then here we have top shelf we've got all the loose glitters and when they come i usually mix them with clear keep some as loose glitters take some mix it with clear and that's those there and there so I've got them all already made up and I've got my little drawers there and they've just got things in. They've got some shell um, and oh, look at those glitter bells, pots of those glitters. Aren't they gorgeous? I tell you, a packaging. I am a sucker for packaging. If you've packaged it nicely, I'll buy it. These are my glitter bells, which have only really just started with the glitter bells. But I do love them. And again, I love the packaging. Monomers at the end there. And this is the gel polish system I am using, which is Young Nails Go Time. And it is a one step. There you go. So you need a primer, but you don't need a base coat. You don't need a top coat. It dries. Um, very shiny. Tack free. Love it. And some of them are so highly pigmented, you don't even need more than one coat. So it's so quick. And if you've got somebody that just wants basic gel polish, nothing fancy, you want them in and out quickly. And that's good. That is really good. And it lasts. It doesn't chip, doesn't peel. It's lovely. Love it. And then my swatch is there for it. And my swatch is for my glitter colours. Swatch is for glitter acrylics my brush cleaner um, what's that oh it's hand cream there's my sanitizer my barber side with the very few tools i really have scaled down the tools now because of obviously keeping everything super clean which we've all done that always anyway but now i think people want to see less you know the more the less that you're using the less likely there is of you know, anything becoming contaminated and that's my Cuccio um, cuticle oil 
these are my lint-free wipes another lovely pot this was from light elegance and that's got acetone in and i have quite a few of those but i did put alcohol in one of them but it doesn't seem to pump very well with alcohol in it's fine with acetone so my alcohol is in this little spray here which i got off ebay which was hardly any money can't remember how much but i know it was really cheap these are my brushes the ones i use all the time my acrylic brushes and this is my latest but i cannot i cannot show it in all its beauty but it is absolutely gorgeous it really is still never mind it doesn't come with a lid by the way i put that lid on there the big brushes never seem to. I think it's a size 14. These are just some little spare brushes that I love the look of. I do use them, but not often. And in this drawer, I have tips. And I've got Glitter Bells, Glitter Planet, uh, Kylie Wary. And who else's tips have I got? Kylie Wary, Glitter Bells, Glitter Planet. Um, and I've also got my forms in there, which are Kylie Berry, Ugly Duckling. I do love the Ugly Duckling forms. And Nao. I like a Nao form. That's business cupboard, that one. I won't open that. Cover powders. Young Nails, Glitter Bells. A couple of Nao's in there. And a CJP. I like their clear. I find it very clear. Clear, clear. These are all my gems. Oh, they sparkle. And there's, I've just got all the different colours in these different little. Um, I've got about three for pink because it's always loads of pink. But all the colours are in there. Oh, there's the little summery type ones. I love them. Loads of those. Love them, love them. Love them. I use Kiara Sky basically for um, gluing them on. I've got my bling tools, my little triangle trays, which are really handy for them and glitter. And then the little um, these little things, you know, like the metal. Things, but I have to say, I don't use very often. But it's just good to, it's just good to have it all, isn't it? Oh, and the cupboard down here. What's in here? Oh, my God. <laughs> Several hands. I'm quite heavy on those. And then we've got disinfectants, barbicide, mundo, more mundo, masks, acetone, um, alcohol, funnel. And down here, we've got spare monomers, a roll of kitchen towel, client cards, a client cushion. And these towels, which are, I, I, they're so good. These are cotton, 100% cotton, and they're 400 count, thread count, Egyptian cotton. They worked out, I bought 240, and they worked out at about a pound each. If I'd bought more, which I couldn't because of storage, they would have been about, worked out about 60p each. And I just think at that price, they're throwaway. The files we use are throwaway at a pound each. And I just think, chuck them. And then here I've got my little mini um, what do you call them? LED light. That's the remote for the Rav Air air cleaning system then we've got some more young nails powders these are proper acrylic powders not that the others aren't but these are specifically for that and these are my monomer pots drill bits for the e-file and a clear powder a couple of clear powders and a cover powder pink one just odds and sods that I don't use very often, but I still use now and again. And then, here we are with the art drawer, 
which mm, I'm not very arty, I have to say, but spider gel, you can't go wrong with spider gel. It kind of does it for you. But then there's gel paint, acrylic paint, and the cat's eye polishes. I've got my swatches in there. Um, and alcohol inks I've got in there. I love using them. Still don't use them very often though. There's my... Um, that's my mask and that's my extractor. I have got another one of these. I like to have, I like to always have spares of everything. And this drawer, this is my always use all the time drawer. This I have several of these metal things so I can use different ones for the clients while they're soaking. And obviously this just peels off and is thrown away. These are brushes. This is just my one for whatever I want to use it for. It's not for client use. Um, and I don't put it on tools unless they're going to be disinfected. Um, and scissors have already been soaked. These things have already been sterilised. Um, this drawer, all oh, these are nail powders. And I've just got the files in there because it takes up space so they don't keep rolling everywhere. I hate that. Lymph-free wipes, table towels, masks. These I like because they, they're four times that size and they're lymph-free. So I use them for brush cleaning when I'm applying monomer. They're all my files. And they're all brand new and they're all throw away. Well, that's it then. That's that one done. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And I look forward to the next time. Take care, everyone. Thanks a lot. Bye.